at the heart of Malindi lies a commitment to inclusivity and health, driving a future where every resident thrives. Today, Mawasco is on the verge of a sanitation revolution with a city-wide inclusive sanitation action plan. The mission is to ensure safe and sustainable sanitation for every resident, regardless of their socio-economic status. It's about dignity, health, and sustainable urban living. This vision is championed by Malindi Water and Sewerage Company, Mawasco. Malindi Water is within Kilifi County Government, mandated to provide both water and sanitation services. In 2019, we started the journey towards embracing sanitation. Malindi, Kenya, known for its beautiful beaches and vibrant communities, faces rapid urbanization. With a population projected to double by 2040, over 300,000 residents lack proper sanitation services, with only 25% of the waste safely managed. This is a threat to the environment, tourism, health, and the economy. We used to enter toilets with Jamadi, Shanti. The toilets used to sink. No matter how well you build it, drainage water used to flow everywhere. To address this challenge, we need unprecedented collaboration. We realized that as Malindi Water, we cannot go alone. So we needed to do some comprehensive stakeholder mapping to look at who do we need to speak to, who are the institutions that we are working with, and who influences sanitation in Malindi. Mawasco has united partners from various sectors to form an integrated sanitation plan using a monitoring and evaluation framework. How we came now to collaborate uh, with Mawasco was through our cleanups. Every month we come together to clean different areas of this town. When we go, like for example, uh, cleaning the, the beach, and because we have no one single toilet, that's when we get to know the places that have open defecation, the places that need toilets. The cleanup has been able to bring in people to talk about without fear and without shame, because you know when you're talking of matter sanitation, you're talking about poopoo, uh, people don't want to talk about that. So we've been able to inform and transfer knowledge through that platform. In Malindi, we are having quite a number of projects around the entire sanitation service chain. At the containment level, we have the upscaling basic sanitation for the urban poor. We need about 40 toilets in Kisumondogo on our low-income areas. We have the Kenya Informal Settlements Improvement Program that is also doing some toilets in Mwe low-income area. Around containment, we are working with the World Bank to ensure that we have PPP models across, you know, emptying and transportation, so that we also have the private sector coming in. Mawasco is also constructing a new waste to value treatment plant. This site is Malindi Fecal Sludge Treatment Plant, which will be used to treat about 93 cubic meters of waste a day. This project uses a very unique technology, which involves the use of uh, screw presses. The screw press technology separates the solids from the, the liquids and reduces the BOD drastically by 70%. This is a very important aspect of waste management. This project is technically and environmentally sustainable. We have designed for machines which will work for a period of over 10 years. The briquettes produced from here will be sold as fuel. So people will not be able to cut trees because a lot of trees are being cut to prepare, to make charcoal, firewood and all that. So we can use these briquettes, which are coming from fecal sludge combined with sawdust and coconut husks. This project is the pilot in this country. The system that has been designed employs both the use of waste to value aspect and also treatment of the water. And Malindi having no waste system as we speak it's going to be a game changer. When we started uh, on our baseline data, our sheet flow diagram showed that about 25% of the waste is what is safely managed. And about 75% of the waste in Malindi was all red, you know, it was not safely managed. But when you see the interventions and the investments that we are putting in place, we desire that by the time our planning phase is getting to an end, 
then about 80% of our sheet flow diagram should be green. Mawasco's dedicated monitoring and evaluation team works with partners to develop a framework to track progress and proactively address the sanitation challenges. Regarding impact, I've been able to see how transformative this journey has been, how we've been able to impact on lives. Mawasco has helped us first through the water projects. We used to walk long distances to get water, but with the extension of the water services, it has reduced the cost of living. Number two, the new toilets, at least it has improved our standards of health. They are clean as long as you can maintain it. I would advise people to pick on this project. Once built, it's for good. You will not have to make any other toilet. For generations, my people will use it even when I'm gone. When you put a public sanitation facility in an area that had very high levels of open defecation and you see people changing their behaviours to start using these facilities, I think that is something good. That is what we want to achieve. Mawasco invites all stakeholders, government bodies, the private sector, NGOs and our community members to join us in this transformative journey. Malindi Water is the only company in Kenya with a citywide inclusive sanitation plan. We desire to offer that learning space for others to come and learn what a plan can do for a city and how it can transform the lives of the people. Improving sanitation services for the people of Malindi will reduce disease transmission enhance health outcomes and achieve a sustainable and inclusive urban future.